This has been nearly a perfect start to the season for the Miami Dolphins. And now we roll up on the real test. We're going to find out what these boys are really about on Sunday when they play the Buffalo Bills in Orchard Park, New York. And I'll be there. You know, I didn't think that it would have been the greatest economic choice to spend the obnoxious amount of money that it costs to go to this game. But I folded. I couldn't help myself, man. I just, I need the atmosphere. I haven't been to a Dolphins game since the Detroit game last year. And, you know, I just, I just need that atmosphere. I need to get the booze flowing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rowdy, man. It is what it is. I'll be in the rock pile getting harassed by Bills fans. That's the fun of it, man. That is the fun of it, and I can't wait. And uh, because of that, my post game will probably be a little bit late, but you know, it'll be worth it, especially if the Dolphins can hold down a dub against the Buffalo Bills. And for both teams, I mean, most people, by most standards, believe that this is the game of the week. This is the game people are looking out for because the Buffalo Bills, after that loss to the Jets, beat the absolute shit out of the Raiders and the Commanders. Two teams that, you know, the Bills are obviously better than. And it was clear on the field when push came to shove. And on the other hand, the Miami Dolphins played a close one with the Patriots in Week 2 and just fucking thumped the Denver Broncos in a way that hasn't been seen since the 1960s. I mean, I don't even think my parents were alive back then. I don't know. If any of you fucking dinosaurs were alive back then, let me know. I mean, shit was in black and white. They fucking were rolling up on the game and horses and fucking trolleys or whatever was going on in the 1960s. I mean, they were all on acid or something. But, you know, whole different time in the universe. Now, today is today. And, you know, back in the 90s, you hear stories because, you know, I was born in 99. I have not been alive to see the Dolphins and the Bills be good at the same time other than this moment now, you know. I guess you could say last year and the Dolphins got on a little bit of an uptick starting in 2020. But really, this is this is where the fire meets because we always hear about Dan Marino, Jim Kelly. I mean, they were fucking unstoppable, yada, yada. And look, I respect history. No one has watched more historic Dolphins games than me because I respect the history of the team and the history of football. But at some point, I want to see the shit for myself in real time. And this is where it happens, man. Two AFC juggernauts. Two polar opposites, the frigid, cold, blue-collar, construction work hat, beer-drinking, beer-belly, chicken-wing-eating, fuck ranch of Buffalo, New York, and the fucking laid-back, sunglasses, Rolex, millions of dollars on the beach vibes of Miami, Florida. Well, they're coming to meet in this AFC East matchup that... I expect to be very high scoring uh, for a couple of reasons. For one, this Dolphin offense looks unstoppable. And not to mention, we just found our hidden gem in Devon Achan. I almost said A-Chain because that's what they've been calling him. But it's Achan, I guess. So Devon (laughs) Achan. Devon Achan is fast as fuck, man. That man was whipping past Denver defenders, and I know it's just the Broncos. But, I mean, 70 points. I mean, at some point, that's got to mean something. That's insane. And so far to this point of this year, Tua Tungavailoa has looked nearly perfect. And I would argue better than Josh Allen so far. But um, other than that, you know, on the other side... Obviously, I mean, you got to give respect to Josh Allen. I know he's thrown four picks so far, had a fumble, and, you know, he's getting the notion that he is a turnover machine. And you could sure take advantage of some boneheaded plays that undoubtedly get made by Josh Allen. But he makes some plays that 
almost no other quarterback in the league can make. Rolling off to his right and throwing it all the way across his body 50 yards downfield to his left. Now, does that make you a good quarterback? No, but I, Josh Allen's a pretty damn good quarterback. Give the man respect where it's due. Um, although two is better. <laughs> uh, but shit, we got to see it live. Both fan bases are, are feeling tense, I feel like, where we're like, all right, we're in a good place. It feels like we have a team that could compete for a Super Bowl, but we haven't played nobody yet. You know, we haven't played a Chiefs, and now we play each other. This is where we find out. Both teams are going to find out a lot about themselves. And look, it's only week four. It's not the Super Bowl. The winner of this game does not immediately get gifted the first round bye or the AFC's crown or or nothing like that. But it's going to work wonders to see how our teams stack up against other top tier teams. And that's really, that's really what it comes down to. Two top tier teams facing each other. And on our end, I really look forward to seeing what Vic Fangio dials up. Because through three weeks, it's been a little sloppy. It really has. I see a lot of wide open receivers. We got bailed out by Javon Holland punching the ball out a couple times. But I mean, there was a, a few plays where they were running crossers and no one's covering the guy. I mean, he catches the ball. No one touches him for 20 yards down the field. You just can't allow these big chunk plays. Um, A lot of open receivers. The run defense hasn't been great yet, although it has vastly improved since week one. But the defense, there's a lot to be desired. And I know Jalen Ramsey isn't here yet. And hopefully Jalen Phillips is playing. I don't think the injury report has been released yet. Let me take a look. It's uh, 1245 right now. So I don't know exactly when it gets released. Let's see. doop a doop doop All right. Yeah, no injury report yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, no injury report yet, so I don't really know about the status of Jalen Waddell or Jalen Phillips or Connor Williams. Um, Jalen and Connor uh, were day-to-day, so I expect them to play, to be honest, because they're very important pieces, and it's a division matchup. Waddell, uh, he practiced, uh, was it Friday he practiced? And ended up still not playing against Denver. Uh, I feel like it's going to be necessary to have Waddle out there because we lost Craycraft and he's going to be gone for a little while and he was stepping it up. So Waddle's going to be an important piece that we're going to need out there. And on the Buffalo end, obviously Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, Gabe Davis, James Cook. I mean, just like the Dolphins, they could kill you in all sorts of ways. Um, the quarterback can run better than outside of Lamar Jackson better than any other quarterback so you got to make sure he's not just running all over you but also he's got a a strong fucking arm so you can't let him just over the top you so I mean both defenses have their hands full so what's gonna happen Uh, what's gonna happen in my opinion unbiased obviously I think the Dolphins are gonna come out with a W (laughs) But I don't think it's going to be easy. I think one of these teams are going to touch the 40s. I really do. I think we're looking at like a 42 to 45 type of game here. Both teams could touch the 40s. It might be one of those games, which is why I had to, I had to blow the money. I had to be there because I, I'm expecting fireworks from both teams. And that atmosphere is going to be almost college-like with the amount of Dolphins fans that make the trip to Buffalo and the amount of Bills fans who fucking hate the Dolphins and the rivalry is rejuvenated, all right? Josh Allen and Tua are the new Marino and Kelly. Now let's see which one of these motherfuckers can get a Super Bowl first. Hoping it's Tua. It better be Tua. I don't know. That's all I got to say. I'm fucking out of here.